Greetings everyone, thank you for joining us today on our channel. In this session, I will guide you through the process of effortlessly configuring personalized HTTP settings for payloads. Before we proceed, kindly remember to show your support by hitting the like button, sharing this video, and subscribing for more insightful tech tutorials. Step 1 involves setting up a WebSocket server. In case you missed my previous tutorial on establishing an SSH WebSocket account, you can find the link below. This step is essential for optimizing your setup. Moving on to step 2, installing HTTP Custom. Begin by visiting your mobile app store, where you can download and install the HTTP Custom VPN application. Once the installation is complete, launch the application to access the home screen. Step 3 involves configuring SSH WebSocket. Input the details of your SSH WebSocket server, including the host or IP, port, username, and password into the designated SSH box that you prepared earlier. In Step 4, focus on the payload settings. Navigate to the payload box to activate its settings. To configure the payload, click on the hamburger icon at the top left of the app screen. From the Utility section, select the Payload label. A box will appear, allowing you to insert a valid payload. After doing so, click Save to return. Step 5 introduces the payload generator, which plays a crucial role in this process. If you require a better understanding of what a payload is, I recommend watching my video on the topic. The link is conveniently provided below. Step 6 involves connecting to the VPN. Once all the settings have been put in place, initiate the VPN connection by clicking the Connect button. This will establish a secure and customized HTTP setup that's ready to use. In conclusion, I would like to express my gratitude for your time today. If you found this tutorial beneficial, kindly show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Until next time, happy browsing!